Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we took on the Pastoria City Gym, all of it. We took on all the trainers in the gym, along with Crash Awake, and we got the Fen Badge. So yeah, let's, um, so in this part, we're gonna take on this Galactic Groaner. Just bother him for now, I guess. We'll bother him later, of course. Haha, <sighs> this package finally came from the Velstone Warehouse. So now it's my job to deliver this to the lake. This is an important mission, no failure allowed. Uh, no making boo-boos, like wandering off into the Great Marsh. You were eavesdropping. I was just talking loudly to myself. If I wasn't in a hurry, I'd provide you with my Pokemon. But I have to get to the... have to get... But I have to get on my way to the lake ASAP. So, you're lucky. I'm out. Owen, listen up, you. Don't you dare follow me. That's what we're gonna do, because you just suggested it. Ha ha. Okay, so, um, you go right here and actually talk to him again. And he'll say, God, uh, persistent pest. Um, if uh, our plans works, our boss's dreams comes closer to fruition. Fruitation, or fruition, I don't even know. Our boss, this is ideal world is going to be created. So I'm not going to waste my time on a nobody like you. That's not very nice. I'm telling you now, don't come, don't you come chasing after me. Oh, and look at Sam. Whoops. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm not always going to plow into you every time we meet. So, how's it going, Steven? Buffing up your Pokemon, eh? I'll test you and your Pokemon out to see if how buff and tough they are. So yeah, we have, we have another rival battle with Sam, I guess. So let's do it. He's gonna start off with Starway though, so that's why I have um just Karen up front. Yeah. His star is level 26, okay. So let's use uh area waste and see how much it does. Oh, I almost one hit kills it. It's gonna use Everdoy. Okay, I was about to say it's gonna use Everdoy uh, Endeavor. But, and then use quick attack, but it didn't do that, so that's good. It, ha it has those two moves, and it's really annoying how it does that. Alias never misses, so ha. Your double team has no effect, really. So there we go. And with that, Karen's now level 30. Awesome. Ponyta, okay. Switch Pokemon. We'll switch to Jetta. Oh, Jetta's almost to level 31. <laughs> okay, let's use Aqua Jet. Let's see how much this does. We want to hit Gale, is it cool? There we go, now Jetta's level 31. Roselia, okay. Switching to Monferno, or Inferno. Brazilia, okay. And let's use Flame Wheel, because Fire Boss might never, may miss, so I'm going to use Flame Wheel. I'd rather use a couple Flame Wheels than um, just uh, using one Fire Boss and having it miss or something, you know? But that f one Flame Wheel will do it, yeah. So that's good. Primp up, okay. So let's switch to Rose then. It's level 28, awesome. So let's use, uh, I want to see how much Grass Knot does, because Print Pop is not that heavy, but I want to see how much it does. Okay, half. Okay, I can just use two grass knots then. Let's get his growl on us. Okay. Well, what was this uh, attack stat by one? But let's just use the grass knot then. There we go. There we go. 
forgot your dialogue, sorry. Uh, hey, yeah, you maybe did get a bit tougher since last time. That's even, that even shocked me a bit. So yeah, I got beat because I was careless. So hey, what was the Team Galactic guy all freaking out about? I don't know what he's up to, but you should chase him down. Um, if you're not a, if you're not a Pokemon, you, and you run like that, you're not, you're a bad guy. Alright, see you next time, I'm not holding back. Okay. So let me see if I can organize my Pokemon by level again. Oh uh, well, yeah, Inferno. I'll just switch to Inferno and, um, Karen. Okay, so we're on Route 113 or whatever, so, um, yeah. We're gonna have to go for chasing after that Team Galactic Grunt. So let's do that. And he is right here. So let's talk to him again. We needed the energy from the Valley One Works to make this. It would take a significant gene. It would take a scientific, scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss who made this is a scientific genius. Is all shocked again. Gah. Uh, uh. Graw. <laughs> you were eavesdropping. I was just talking out loud. You. Persistent pest. I'm going to. T I'm getting tired of running away, but I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. Okay, and and you can also, you know, um, get on your bicycle to go a bit faster if you want. Although it's hard to mat. Yeah, like line up the door right there. So I don't know. While I'm here, I'm gonna talk to this guy and heal my Pokemon. Even though they're not um, you know, that hurt or anything. I just want to restore their power points. I guess doesn't hurt you know as we just it's all in the way so I, that's why I did it so now the Valor Lake friend again and here's the team black to grunt pant pant why am I running like this anyway the new universe that the boss was talking about it's giving me goosebumps thinking about it so we use this ah you were eavesdropping I was only talking to myself he said that again you persistent too. You're persistent too. I'm pooped out from all that running, but I'm not going to battle you. Okay. I get battle me now, Team Galactic Grunt. Oh no, you're still on my tail. Um, that wakes with the wakes within sight. You're leaving me no chance. My Pokemon will KO you. We'll see about that. If you if you uh, can have a fire have a fighting type up friend, because this guy has a Glamiel, and that's a normal type Pokemon. So, you know, because fighting is good against, um, super effective against, um, normal type Pokemon. I have Inferno, I'm going to use a Mach Punch on this thing, so it should be, this battle should be going by really quick. So let's see here. It should have at least do half. Oh, it knocked it out, okay. I should be more confident in myself and in Inferno, I should say. Yeah, but there we go. The Glamio is now defeated. Phew, if I didn't run, I could have. Dang it, I couldn't reach your dialogue fast enough. Thanks for a thousand pocket dollars, though. I can't battle anymore. I'm running out of fumes. I'm running on fumes. I ha I'll have to give this to the commander. I wish I got to use it at the lake. He just soy jogs off. And here's uh, Cynthia again. Oh, uh, well, hello. Long time no see. How's your Pokedex filling up? I can, I came to research the folklore about the lake, but, well, it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to the public now. Have you heard about the folklore about it? They say there is a, there is an island inside the lake, and inside the island is a meringue, mirage of a Pokemon. Uh, no one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Sorry to change the subject, but have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210, 210? Yes, I have. Yes, that's right, by the cafe on Route 210. You, you've seen that group of Psyduck huddled with their heads in their uh, hands? <laughs> anyway, what you should do is use this uh, medicine on the Psyduck. You're working on a Pokedex, so it'd be worthwhile for you. We got the secret potion, yeah, nice. Which is key item spot, key items, um, item, key item, I should say. I went to, I went on a big adventure with a Pokedex when I was younger. I hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. 
it may help you with the secret of the marine Pokemon, the match Pokemon. I don't know how to pronounce the M word. Yeah, um, see you later. Okay. So what we want to do now is we want to fly back to uh, Salacian Town. So that's what we're going to do. Get hop on Karen. Salacian Town's right here. Yep, okay, cool. Because we want to go back to Route 210, and this is like the closest town to Route 210. Um, yeah. And I'm not going to heal or anything, but um, I'm trying to think. We need a... We need... Well, I prefer to have Defog for this next route. Do I have any flying type Pokemon or anything? Other than like a Karen, because I want to teach Karen Defog. Let me see in the, po in the Pokemon Center real quick. I don't think I do, so I might have to catch a Stylia or something off screen if I don't. So let's see. Man, I meant to um, go to move Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to catch a Stylia off screen or something to teach a Defog. Um, you also need like Rock Smash too. I think that's about it. Defog and Rock Smash. And, and Cut if you want to go like to shortcuts and avoid trainers and stuff. So, I'm trying to think who I'm going to deposit in the pocket in the PC because I need to make room for the style I'm going to catch too for Defog. Because I recommend you use you have a Pokemon with Defog because the Defog makes the fog in the battle mode when you're battling trainers like really thick and stuff and you can't it lowers the accuracy of all the Pokemon on the field and stuff and it's not fun. So let's see here, party Pokemon. Um, I think I'm gonna put Bronzor in the PC for now. So, yeah, I'll we'll put Bronzor or Bronze in the PC. Okay, um, and if you want to go up here, wait, let me see if I can find a star real quick. Let me go back to, um, actually, let me go back to Twinleaf Town and catch a star real quick. I'll be right back though, and I'll show you guys, uh, that I taught, that I'm going to teach you Defog and stuff, but you know, yeah. So see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so um, I'm gonna. I caught a Starly and nicknamed it Defog Lady. And yeah, normal flying type, but it's a hasty nature like sweet food. Um, keen eye, which, which uh, prevents the Pokemon from. Uh, prevents it from lowering its accuracy or getting its accuracy lowered. Uh, attack is 7, defense is 5, special attack is 6, special defense is 6, speed is 7. Attack on Corral. But I'm just gonna use this. Uh, I'm just gonna teach it Defog. Because it can wind defog, which is really nice. So it's all the way at the bottom of this pocket, of this TM's pocket. TM's and HM's pocket. There's defog right here. And Karen can learn it, but I'm gonna teach it to defog lady, honestly. Yeah. Defog's not really a great move. Uh, offense in battle, I should say. So I'll just not teach it to Karen, you know? So. Let's see here. Let's see. Yeah, let's switch to um, Inferno again. Yeah. Okay, and we should be ready. So let's go up to the um, where the Psychics are again. Let's go up this slope. And here's the Psychics. The Psychics are standing firm. They won't. They aren't. They aren't inclined to move. Would you like to use a secret potion? Yes. Steven used a secret potion. The Psyduck appear to be cured of their chronic headaches. And they just all walk off. But one's going the wrong way, so he has to catch up with others. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here's Cynthia again. Oh good, you used the secret potion I gave you. Psyduck are known to suffer from chronic headaches, but no one... Uh, no one's been able to figure out why it triggers their, the headaches. Oh yes, can I ask you a big favor? I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. I know there are some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it would be worth your trip while to go. Sure, we got the old charm. Nice. My grandma has this sort of bossy atmosphere about her. I think you'll recognize her right away. 
Yes, I am sure you will. She's the elder in Swast of, Swast of Swastik Town. And the location look on your town map, you can't miss it. Okay, I'm counting on you. See you again down the road. Cool. So, yeah, if you look on your town map. So, right here. We are right here on Altu Town, but Swastik Town is uh, on right, right here. So, we have to go through this route of Two Ten still. And, um,. Get, get the Celestic Town, so that's cool. That's our, that's our plan, at least. So, yeah. Um, but I'm gonna end the part right here. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide part. And next part, I'll take on the rest of 210, Route 210, and hopefully get to Celestic Town, and possibly do more after that, depending on time. So yeah, this has been Giant Go again. I would like to thank you again. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo.